What's up guys, you know who it is, it's your boy Kenny with JDM Muscle. That's right, we've got the mock-up sticker. It is not the official one, but that is basically what it's gonna look like once it comes in. But otherwise guys, we're here at Kalamazoo. I'm gonna try to rush this intro. We have two hours, I did pay, so I'm gonna try to get everything I can. Unfortunately, the tire guy did not show up. So what tires I have were fricked, and we're gonna run this until they are bald, which, oh God, it's not much guys. If I can get six, seven laps, I guess, I'm good with it. So. Let's shred these tires off. So we did have drift Kalamazoo yesterday. I made it out for two hours. Uh, first lap out, absolutely sent it. It was the best me in the car I've ever actually, I guess, interacted. It was full lock right away. And um, before even the first lap was over, so probably 15 seconds in, the dipstick actually popped up, flew out, oil came all over the hood, up out and onto the windshield. So we shut it down, checked, I popped it back in, filled it back out, took it out again. Same thing happened again. And now it looks like I have some motor on the front of the block. So. The only thing I've actually changed was I upgraded to that VR120W50 motor oil. Maybe it was too thick, maybe I put too much in, maybe it's trying to get out. Um, I'm gonna check the PCV. I did buy a compression tester, so we're gonna check compression on the motor. And then other people have told me to do a leak down test to see if there's any air getting past the pistons. Otherwise, I'm hoping maybe the PCV, I'll do an oil change, drop that down, check the seal on the oil pan. Um, otherwise, the car sounds a little bit different. Uh, maybe an exhaust leak. It just sounds like it's not quite as loud as it was. So maybe something's breaking that down. So I'm not exactly sure guy, but the, the car is back in the garage. So let's get, uh, let's get working on it. All right guys, so the car is jacked up. Right now we're gonna replace the PCV. Um, I think that's just the first thing to start with just to see if that can help out. Um, so right now he's just taking the hose clamp off the PCV valve. And then from here, we're gonna pull the hose clamp off and uh, it is a 19 mil to take that off right there. We're gonna replace it. Let's refire the car. Let's see if it idles out better. Let's see if it changes anything. Otherwise, guys, now that the car is jacked up, we were able to find, you know, I did switch to that 2050 from that 10W30. It did keep uh, oil pressure, but at the same time, I do think that um, maybe it was too much or maybe it was too thick because it did look like it came out of the bottom of the oil pan. Super hard to see now that I've cleaned it. But um, either way, once we replace this part, I think I still want to drop the oil pan, put new sealant on it, and then probably go back to 10W30 and see if that helps. So let's take this part off. All right, guys, so we pulled the PCV valve off. This is what we did. Once it was actually off, we unscrewed this all the way out. It was in the end of this hose. We fired the car up. So I'll pretend this was still on here, but this valve was out. In his hand, he would put his thumb over it to feel for suction. It does have suction, which is telling us that the PCV valve is still working. So we're not gonna order a new PCV valve. Now it is on to checking uh, the next steps. All right guys, so we're checking compression. This is how we're doing it. So as you can see, we've got everything pulled. There are no um, coils inside there. I am leaving plugs in each hole. That way, of course, uh, no air is coming out of the other pistons, but we're gonna first pull the plug. After we pull the plug, the kit comes with a little uh, adapter. Put this down into the plug hole and we can tighten that all the way in. I'm just going finger tight guys, don't need to arm wrestle it in. So once we get it in there, just tightening it down. From here, we're gonna take the other part of the adapter and it'll just thread right on, it's finger tight. Just like that, now it's finger tight. We'll take the gauge that comes with it. Gauge reads zero to 300. Of course, we're looking for 145 to 170s. And then from here, we're just gonna get in the car. Gas is gonna be turned off. And then of course, this will bump up. So we'll try to fire it a couple times just to see where it reads. 
So the bad part right now, cylinder one we might have to redo. Cylinder one red one or cylinder one red seventy, not one seventy, but seventy. So that's not good. Uh, two was I think one sixty. We had one forty eight, and we're gonna check this one, guys. So I'm gonna jump in and let's fire it. guys even though i don't want to admit it that's uh that's a wrap on the 240 right now with cylinder one just being half of what the actual um compression should actually be the rest of them are about 150 to 160 and that is down to 70 so something is wrong ring something had failed so um from here i would love to finish up the season i don't know if it's going to happen i'm going to call every shop i can i'm going to try to get it into any garage i can to just get it fixed to finish up the season. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I'm out. You might not be able to get a ride along, whatever it may be, but stickers are still gonna be for sale. You know, you can still snag that G Fuel. JDM Muscle is my code if you want 20% off of G Fuel. Otherwise, peace out and until next time.